Professional Mag Lab presents Take Two Series Marker. Well, Ron, it's great to meet you. Thanks for taking some time to chat. Thanks very much. So, Pleasure talk to me a little bit about uh, what you research. So, uh, what we research, we research molecules. And what we try to research, molecules in that context. And what I mean with that is we all know that cells make up a molecule. Yeah? Um, cells are made up out of molecules, but cells themselves are placed to form a piece of tissue. And tissues, you can see in the context of a patient. So what I really like to do is actually follow that entire route and take images from molecule to cell to man. So what my research is, I always say imaging from molecule to man. Awesome. So what tools do you use to sort of procure those little images? So uh, we actually have a very specific uh, molecular imaging technique. And uh, we use microscopes that are coupled to mass spectrometers. And mass spectrometers are unique tools that help us to very specifically identify individual molecules. For instance, if you have a protein with a mass spectrometer, we can tell which amino acids make up that protein. And with an imaging mass spectrometer, we can actually tell how that protein functions inside a cell or in a piece of tissue. So what we're trying to do is actually couple all these elements together and really come up with new ways to visualize the molecular complexity of uh, living systems. So how do those images and how does your work ultimately end up aiding people who are treating diseases? So um, one uh, good example is, for instance, uh, a liver surgeon I collaborate with. He actually has to do surgery and removes a tumor out of a liver. And with that, he has to remove quite a large part of the liver. Mm. Um, when he does that, um, he has to do some reconstructive surgery in the end. And we'd like to remove as little as possible of healthy, functioning liver material. Um, what we can do, we can help him with our images to define whether the margin of this tumor is completely free of tumor cells, faster and better than a pathologist can. So ultimately, as with these imaging techniques and with what we call intraoperative diagnostics, we can aid the surgeon by providing him better quality information that helps him in his clinical decision-making process. And what we hope that will lead to is a reduction of number of recurrent surgeries in oncological procedures from, let's say, 20 to 5%. That would be amazing. Awesome. So how do the tools here at the MagLab help you to facilitate that work? Detail. Actually, the 21T uh, magnet system here that we do our imaging work on provides us with even more and better molecular detail than we can obtain in, in Maastricht. So um, with the systems that we have here, we can, in exact molecular detail, understand the complex molecular signaling pathways that make up the patterns of health and disease. Awesome. Sounds great. Well, thanks so much, Ron. Appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Marker. Hey, Ron. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Audrey. So what brings you here? Well, not the Florida weather, um, because that's way too warm for me, but the 21T ion cyclotron resonance mass spectrometer brings me here. OK, so what is it that you're measuring there? So what we're trying to do here is actually do molecular photography, if you want. Um, have you heard of pathology? In pathology, a hospital, yes. in a hospital. So what I'm interested in is actually taking samples that normally a pathologist would look at with two colors, let's say red and blue, uh -huh. and I want to make them into million colors by looking at all the individual molecules that make up health and disease on the tissue. And we can do that in Maastricht, where I'm from, but here with the 21T magnet, we can do it even more precise. So is uh, everything working the way you want this week, or do you have things that are coming your way that you didn't expect? <laughs> or There's always things you don't expect. Uh -huh. And it's science. It's experimental science. Uh -huh. So not everything always works. But I would say 80% of the experiments that we've planned actually have done really, really well. And uh, we've got some beautiful images of, of uh, mouse brains where we see detailed lipid patterns uh, mm -hmm. in the brain change uh, from different cell type to different cell type. We found uh, isotopic fine structure using the 21T uh, magnet system mm -hmm. here uh, for our mass microscope. Um, we've actually done uh, breast tumors, we've done uh, uh, tissue microarrays, uh, where we've looked at glycans, so the glycosylation of proteins, uh, we've done so much stuff. So we've been actually really lucky because the source that we brought from Maastricht to Tallahassee, mm -hmm. uh, we put it on in one day, day two we tested, and day three it worked, and ever since we've been taking images, so it's been a good month. Excellent. So once you have all those results, uh, the idea is to bring this back to your home institute and help the local pathologists. Mm -hmm. So um, we have an imaging institute in the mm -hmm. Netherlands where we do a lot of this molecular pathology to help our local pathologists. Mm -hmm. 
but very often we find patterns that we don't really understand. Uh, we see peaks and we know that's not exactly what we expect it to be. And maybe there are two or three more peaks under this one peak that we normally see without technologies because we lack the resolving power. Here, the 21T gives us the resolving power to actually unravel new chemistry. And the interesting thing is, if this would be a normal peak mm -hmm. uh, that I would see, here at the MagLab, I also see five peaks, and each individual peak is indicative for a different cell type or a different mm -hmm. spatial distribution. So the unique part of us doing these experiments here is really that it provides us with much deeper understanding of the biology of disease. And, and that's really, really cool what we, uh, what we tried to establish here. All right, sounds like our time's up. So if you want to hear more about or read more about Ron's research, go there. <laughs>